The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. A big day today, folks. Things going on all over the world, mainly due to all the volatility we're having in stocks and everything else. Uh, hold on, boys and girls. As we speak, they're starting to make noise over here again. Shut the front door and raise the rent. We're going to take a look at the German DAX first. As you can see, we've made some type of a little double top up in there. The next one was the FTSE. It could or could not be making a trot top in this area. It's still a little too early, but this is a perfect butterfly pattern in the FTSE. Uh, no question about it. Very similar. We had the reverse of this happening in some of our indices, but I'll go through those one at a time here to me is the very important thing that's happened today boys and girls that we've been talking about for quite some time and that is the three 38 percent level in the in the dollar index you can see what happened here once it broke through that uh 38 percent retracement at 95.50 you know we, we well it's not a big move but it's down to the 50 percent level but you know that the abcd on this measures down to 94 57 but that was major support the reason why folks it had been there for six weeks and the high of 97, the low of 95.50, when we broke below that 3.82, bada bing, bada boom, down it went. And now we are definitely rolling over here. That's one of the reasons why we've had this nice move here in gold, because when the dollar goes down, i.e., the euro goes up, that tells us that the gold should go higher, and it has. Unfortunately, I took profits in the gold a little too early, uh, so I missed this last $15, but we took the first $60 out of it. So we're waiting to rebuy now on any type of, of a pullback here. I've already got some ideas in, that I put into the 24-7 group to take a look at. So I think that'll be something that'll be out uh, into the future. Today, our Rich Anderson will be our guest. We have the, the big grain, the biggest grain report of the year starting out we'll be here today we've got some questions on which grains uh programs or which uh, reports you want to see we've got a list and rich is going to go over those with us to show which ones are important give us some ideas on the ramifications of what's going on here and then also uh, anything that might be a big surprise we'll be watching also uh remember tomorrow we have norman who calls it to the minute winsky will be on uh, I believe we have a full moon coming up in here pretty quickly, so we'll be doing that uh, so far so good. Anyway, let's take a look here at uh, what we're looking at in some of these markets here uh, early this morning. Uh, if you remember, when we were talking here on Monday, we were, oh, shut the front door and raise the rent. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Give me a second, boys and girls. I'm hitting these two. Days. Okay, hold on. Here we are. There we go. We were looking for a, a beautiful retracement here, 61%. We did it. One standard deviation. It was 1.618 expansion, 115,163. The low was 15,152. So it missed it by, by 10 points. Now, the reason why I'm talking to you about some of these patterns, because they're the same thing in everything. You'll just see the breakdown that we had in the U.S. dollar. At that that level in the uh, uh, in the dollar index, correct? Okay. Now we said the same thing. We'll just look at it on the euro side. You'll be able to see here because I think this is this is important for trend identification and stuff, folks. But you'll notice here once we broke out of that thirteen one thirteen eighty level, you know we're only forty pips higher than that, thirty pips higher. Well, forty pips higher than that right now. But that is that's definitely it's it's a, it's a breakout. It's a whole month of action now that everybody that's been short that stuff now has a loss, and so that, that they're going to have to pay attention to that. Well, maybe they will, maybe they won't. I don't know. But that's what. Now the reason why I'm bringing this to your attention is because of this. The next chart we're going to look at here is the natural gas, and if you'll remember, over the years I 
said, you know, when we get down there to that 350 level, that big ABCD, that's when you want to start, you know, buying the natural gas. The low was, uh, I believe, one th- uh, it was 350, uh, 352, I think, was the low. The thing measured to 350. Uh, 58, I believe. And now look where we closed last night, folks. We closed right there at the 38% retracement at 42.27. Do you know where we're trading today, folks? We're trading up at the 50% level already. We hit 42.60. This is a major bottom now. And, you know, this is something that could have a heck of a move for a very, very long time. That's where these patterns are helpful. Now, when they go beyond these numbers, and they do, as we often see, then we know that there's something not correct. So that's the whole thing is when these things start to fail, you've got to get out of the way. And that's why we watch these things so very, very closely. Now, if we look what's happening, I want to show you that same thing with the 382 because we talked about it yesterday, and I want to get it to your attention again. This is the NASDAQ. Remember that number. There it is, 15,152 was the low. The 1.618 expansion was 15,156. The two standard deviations was one. 50, uh, 160, I believe. So it was right in that ballpark. We've had a very strong rally. Now look at this chart up here, folks. You see that right-hand corner over there where the blue where it says 16,010? That is the 61% retracement of the whole down move in the NASDAQ. That's, that's what it just happens to be. Now, just for kicks and giggles, let's get the old kicks and giggles up here as soon as we can find the old kicks and giggles chart. And it, it'll be here somewhere, I hope. Ah, and here it is. Let's get it up here. And here is the kicks and giggles chart for the NASDAQ for today. And look what the high was, folks, 16,010. And we're trading a good uh, 200 points under that right now, from what I understand. Well, we'll see if it means anything. Now, that's what I would be watching. Now, here's what I was watching because, you know, we covered the short in the Dow that we sold up there at the, near the high. We covered that on Monday. And what we did today was uh, we decided that if it was time to do this, this is what we had to do. And so I sent this out early and it said to sell the Dow at the, at the market. It was trading at uh, 36000 uh, 36,003, well, you can see 36,287. And so what I did was I put a stop originally at 36,500, and we've now dropped that stop down to uh, a, just a $200 loss. In other words, if it goes back and makes anywhere near a new high where we sold it, we will be out of that with a very, very small loss and worry about it the next day. So it's all about the risk control that we're trying to associate these things with. And that's the thing that I think that uh, many people have to pay, you know, close attention closer attention to they'll be far better off uh than if they if they don't do that that's uh, the main thing uh someone's asked a question about silver and that silver is is still looking okay but it's not nearly as strong as the gold market but gold is up here against some major stuff up in here folks so uh you know i i'm very very bullish gold i bought it on that dip did pretty good on the run up. I even had a small short sale that worked pretty good. But uh, you know, these last uh, twenty bucks, I'm not involved. So I'm just waiting to be. I'm. <laughs> what's the old adage is? A, a nervous bull is what I would be called because I'm very bullish. But I'm not going to buy breakouts, folks. Before I buy breakouts, I'll send the checks directly into Chicago Mercantile Exchange to save the commission. Let's take a little break. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. 
The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com. Educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I posted this chart of the DBD S&P on a daily, and I wanted to bring to your attention a certain pattern that is unfolded here that I talked about in the video that I sent out last night. Someone asked me the question. You can see these two very, very sharp down moves, these dark black arrow. These are exactly equal within about 10, well, five points coming in right at the 78% level. That's what we had on Monday. That was that bottom. You can see what happened here after we had the last bottom here. We exploded for one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine days to make a new high. So far, what we've done, and the question that the person asked me is, could this be a head and shoulders pattern if the S&P does not exceed 4740, which is right at the ABCD 61% retracement, comes in around 4737. The high today was 4740. So it did not exceed the high of December the 18th. So that could be the problem with it. And this is covered in the formulas that Dr. Andrew Lowe uses in his book, The Non-Random Walk Down Wall Street. There's a time sequence where the high from the left shoulder to the right shoulder should be very close to the right shoulder of the of the lower move. And it's not anywhere close because we're only up two days. You see, the other shoulder took quite a, quite a ways to go. That would have to come in, you know, around the 17th of the month. And that's, you know, we're way before the 17th. Now, I, I don't do head and shoulders patterns unless they're perfect, and this isn't a perfect one, so I had to say nay to that, because it didn't have the symmetry that you need for the head and shoulders pattern. It's very important. That formula, you should see it. I posted it here before, but it, it's a huge mathematical equation with summations and square roots and all that other uh, mumbo-jumbo that they don't teach there in old Terre Haute, Indiana, but by golly, they uh, anyway, that's, uh, that's what I'm looking at there. It's not a head and shoulders pattern now we did hit the fibonacci number we hit the the uh the, we hit a perfect dow jones apcd as you can see right up there at uh, six, uh 36,300 in the uh uh Dow Jones uh, E-mini, and uh, that's when we uh, sent out the alert to, uh, you know, 
go in, now you're break even, whatever happens. So that remember that I'm just trying to break it down on the patterns because when they line up perfectly, it's great. When they don't line up perfectly, not so great. Now we've been uh, very friendly for a rally in the Treasury notes. As you know, we've had a nice rally here. Now Treasury notes move about one half the volatility of the Treasury bonds. This has gained well over a thousand dollars, folks. So I think we're still going to go higher. But if you wanted to take profits here, you know you certainly could. My my position is I I think because of this big down move we're going to get a rally somewhere up around 130. So I'm uh, assuming that we're going to get there. So I'm going to keep the stop at break even. I'm in a free trade just like I was short crude oil. I got knocked out of that one. Went higher. And people ask me why don't you reverse when you when you don't. I'm just not a very good reversal trader, folks. And part I mean I worked with Mark Douglas here every day for four years. I mean seven days a week. I mean because we we like this stuff quite a bit. And anyway, the, the hardest thing Mark had to do was to try to get me to reverse. He kept a record of every time that I that I got stopped stopped out of something that it, it continued to go higher. Not not maybe you know crazy higher, but at least it went higher about nine times out of 10. And I looked at that and I said, yeah, but Mark, I only trade the 10th time. And he finally laughed and he said, look, he said, you just don't like to buy breakouts. He said, don't worry about them. And I said, you know, Mark, I quit worrying about them a long time ago. But I do watch them like I'm watching in the euro because that was six six weeks there uh, in a very, very tight range. It's a lot of accumulation to distribution. And uh, the winners are now are the people that are long to euro, short to dollar. So that that's now, if this thing would happen to reverse and go back the other way that's a totally different ball game but that you're you're banking on something that may or may not happen wait to see if it happens and then you have a you know something to uh to you know to uh, put your uh, head on or put, wrap your your trading system around it so i i think that's something that you really need to uh really re really need to uh, figure out what you're trying to do now, i wanted to uh bring to your attention the one thing in the in the oil market i, I have to do the old one because i can't get the chart small enough to put it in here, but this is where the real key lied yesterday in the uh, in the crude oil complex, folks. Because you'll notice here that we were setting right at the 78% level here uh, in the heating oil. And yesterday, the crude oil hadn't taken it out yet. But once the, this high was made, that's when the whole oil market turned. Now we're approaching the 260 level, which would be po possibly a double top. Maybe not. We don't know. We, we have to wait to get there. But once we pop through here, the last I saw, we were trading at 257. So that that told you that that market was going to go higher. There's a perfect example. If you like to buy breakouts when these patterns fail, that's a good thing to do. I have people that only trade, you know, failed Gartleys. I mean, that's what they like to do. In other words, if the the market says it's a Gartley sell, here, well, perfect example would be the Dow Jones today. If we went above that thirty six thousand uh, three hundred, whatever the high high today was, in that that would, he would do that. You add a hundred points of that, he would be a buyer of that. And then putting a stop under the previous day's low, and he's buying a breakout to the upside. Now, that's okay if you trade that way, but I like to get to the patterns that where I can see them really clearly. And I know if they're going to work, yeah, they're going to work. And if they're going to fail, yeah, they're going to fail. But I'm going to know right away. If I start doing breakouts, which... I'm not planning on doing that, but if I do, uh, I know where to put the stop. And if you buy the breakout, you got to put your stop under the previous day's low if you're buying a breakout to the upside, and under the previous above the previous day's high if you're selling a breakout to the downside. That's that's really all you have to do. I'm going to incorporate some of that in the next day trading system that we uh, or day trading program that we have sometime in March, but uh, that's a, that that's down the road a little bit. So those are a few things. We got Rich Anderson coming up here uh, at the break in just a few minutes, but I wanted to go over with you uh, one other thing that I that I think is pretty important, and that's this longer term picture here. If I can get it up here on this dollar index, you'll see here because we are breaking down big time here from the. Uh, this is a weekly. Now, you see the weekly dollar index has been down since 2020. We had this nice counter trend rally. Do you realize what that profit objective would be on that if that's a legitimate AB and that's the C leg right there? <laughs> we got old Mr. Uh, 
Mr. O'Brien should come back here because back in uh, what uh, 2011 he coined the king uh, the uh, coin king dollar at 72. Well, we'd be setting at about 78 if that ABCD a, patterns happened. And folks, if that's the case, there's going to be a lot of things changing in the United States as far as inflation and other things that are going on because you're going to see some big moves in some of these things. If this dollar weakens this much, you're going to see you know even a monster move in gold. But today, I believe that uh, we've made. Uh, we we're into some good resistance areas right here, but that's uh, that's what we're that's what we're trying to pay attention to here here this morning. Anyway, uh, right now the markets are the euro still popping up there. We above the 140, 240. I just saw the TV just a few minutes ago, so that's uh, another one that we're paying close attention to. The big one, of course, is uh, we have this these big Gartleys and Fib numbers and stuff in the uh, we've we've broken over 200 handles. Uh, in the NASDAQ so far, uh, still a little early, but now that's uh, neither here nor there from the 61% retracement. Bonds are still uh, getting up to that 156. That's been two points of uh, a profit if you did that, but we suggested doing the bonds and the reason, the Treasury notes, and the reason why the margin was a lot less and the volatility was much easier. Your risk is only $200. In the bonds, it was $600, so we bought the notes and uh, they returned about to be okay. All right, let's get back to the commercial. We'll be back with Richard Anderson in just a few moments. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Okay, we're back, folks, and we have Rich Anderson on the line here, my good old compadre from about 50 years ago. Hard to believe it's been that long, Bubba. <laughs> I, I know, I know. It's uh, a yeah. long time. <laughs> 48 years, 48 years to be exact. Rich, uh, we've got a big grain report today. You want to tell the folks what it is, and then I have another question here about some of these other reports that come out. So tell us what we're looking at for the grain report today. Right. Well, basically, they... they uh, this is the final that the government, the U.S. government does for their uh, production of the corn and beans. It also looks at, uh, we have the stocks report today that, that tells us how much we've used in the last September through um, quarter, which is September, October, and November, and how much we have left. The, uh, the bottom line is, yeah, yeah I don't, you know, there have been curveballs in this report before, and there can easily be one today. <laughs> and then, and then on top of that, you know, the um, the big thing is the, the big news, which I mentioned to you last time I was on the show, is the weather in South America. Yeah. So that well, they will trade these numbers, and people will dispute them and all that. The bottom line is that the market closed higher; they were bullish, and if the market closed lower, you know, they were. Very, yeah. I trade technically. But I don't, I don't try to have positions on in front of major reports like this, and this is definitely yeah. a major report, yeah. um, because there can be a surprise unless you've got um, options as, you, as your stop, because a stop stop can get run. You know, the, sure. the, the, there's just a vacuum. There's no orders, and the, with electronic markets, the way it works. You know, you can get get filled at a price much less than you expected, or not filled at all because the exchanges have set that you know it has to be filled with the next amount, or they just don't fill yeah. their orders. So well, nowadays, if you're going to trade the, these reports, I think you need some kind of option strategy as as your uh, stop protection, in in my okay. opinion. But the bottom line is, th this is an important report today, and we're going to be trading the stocks of wheat, corn, and beans. But then we're also looking at South American crop conditions, and the, the you know, I mean, take the take the rivers in Argentina are low right now. Well, when the rivers are low, you can only load your barges so so much because it'll draft more than than the river is. So that, I mean, transportation could become a problem down there. Now we're expecting rain starting on Saturday. It'll move north into Brazil on Tuesday, but then after that. The European model says we'll continue to get rains, and the American model says we won't. So it's it's all about is this the start of a pattern shift in the weather in South America? So it's, that's why you trade technically, in my opinion. You know that oh, the, the yeah. charts will tell you what's going to happen. And they change these reports too. You know, you next month they say, oh, well, we were off by about three percent or five percent or even more. I mean, it's amazing what they, what they do do. I posted a chart here of March soybeans, and we had that beautiful head and shoulders pattern down there, in early de late uh, November, early December, and we've had a huge move up. We were almost to where we were way back in June, and uh, so that's a move of uh, well over three dollars a bushel. That that is really good. Now the question that someone's asked us here from the brass and that is with the price of uh, fertilizer and, and and the nitrogen supplements and stuff being so high, I mean, these farmers, they're, they're going to be getting squeezed pretty heavily on uh, some of these costs for production, aren't they? Yes. As I mentioned last time I was on the show, that their, uh, their fertilizer costs are as high as they were back when corn was $8 a bushel. Uh-huh. And, of course, uh -huh. uh, corn's a good price at, at, say, $6 a bushel, but... You know, with fertilizer up as much as it is, you know, they really need $8. So the bottom line is you're going to try and prevent, um, try and work around that by planting less corn and more beans. Um, but it depends on the weather. That they, and, and prices of fertilizer are not any cheaper in Europe. In Europe, they're much more expensive because they've got that natural gas problem with Russia holding a big hammer over whether or not oh, they turn yeah, off the yeah. pipelines. And yeah. any cold weather, you know, that pops up natural gas. So we, yeah. we have some definite issues. The, 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 the key thing to be watching, now this is for late March, early April, as we come into planting in corn, the, the best and most profitable cop for the state of Dakotas might be prevent plant corn, where depending on what, they'll set the insurance prices in February, right? 
And then let's say you can't get it planted because it's too wet. Well, you'll get you'll get a very nice check, and you won't have that uh, that fertilizer cost. But you can't plan like that because you've got to book that fertilizer now or back in December. Uh-huh. Um, so anyway, it's going to make for a very interesting year. The, the, the corn number today, the crop conditions, is, which is the weekly crop conditions that I, you watch. You know, they, uh-huh. the, the government's got the corn product, uh, yields at about five bushels an acre higher than 2017, 2018, and yet crop conditions were less than that. So there's room for um, the reports to hold surprises, and and this is one of the bigger ones. This is one of the bigger ones, that's for sure. You know, I posted a chart of the soybean meal, and we've had a tremendous move, over $150 a ton, and yet when you go in to buy eggs in the market, they're about the same price as they were, you know, last year. I mean, when is this price of protein going to be factored into some of these uh, prices? That right? I know it's done a little bit in, in cattle quite a bit, but not in hogs. And, uh, you know, if you look at the price of milk, we bought milk for $0.88 cents a half gallon here yesterday. I mean, you'd think milk would be well over 250 a gallon, the way they're talking about inflation. Well, the, there are places where milk is, you know, $4 a gallon or more. You know, it, really? it, it kind of depends. That, that could be a lost leader oh. that that grocery store is using to get people in. That, what, by the way, in hogs, India finally signed a deal where they're going to allow import uh, pork from the United States. So that's a big deal, and that's another oh. market for us. The, the okay. beef prices have stayed relatively strong because – they're having trouble getting workers into the packing plants, to, and so they're not processing enough beef. I talked, to, well, I, I talked to an old friend of yours yesterday, and and she'd bought t- two steaks and it cost her fifty bucks. You know. Uh, yeah, well, your your friends are different than my friends, Rich. You're the only rich friend I got. <laughs> Ground beef is pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> no. Hey, listen, I have a, a question here about the U.S. dollar. I mean, here it's getting uh, trash now. Now, with the dollar dropping, that's going to be good for our uh, for our business as far as selling stuff abroad because people can buy it cheaper, correct? Right. And I, I just took a look at the dollar chart before I ca- called you, and I could see, you know, the dollar going back down to 90, 91. Uh-huh. Um which would be a, it's called a 5% correction. And uh-huh. that's, that would make our grain prices, for if I'm a, a Chinese buyer or a European buyer, 5% cheaper. You know, so uh-huh. that, that, that helps. Last time I was on the show, I mentioned how they, the tariff rates on the spot car market for rail had an $1,800 premium, which amounted to about 40 to 50 cents a bushel extra cost. So you know that's that's kind of gone away, but that that kind of uh, tariff problem, and the barge rates in Argentina could develop in the next two months if they don't get the rain and the and the water levels don't get up. So there's lots of moving balls all the time. You got to be watching them all, and yeah. and frankly you can't. So you look at the charts and that tells you what's going on. Hey, can you stay with us? I have two more questions about those reports. We'll be right back, folks, with Rich Anderson, Anderson Capital Management. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
Paperwhite's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're talking with Rich Anderson, folks. Uh, I met Rich when you were 20. You're what, 66 now, Rich? A little bit older than that, but... Okay, well, whatever it was, that was a long time ago. This fellow, folks, he he reads and 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 has more sources of information than any one person that I know in this business. He's my go-to guy, especially when it's related to anything that uh, is made with metal. People eat it or they use it in energy. Just about everything. But how many different services do you subscribe to? Or I know you get them free because you're. you're uh, well, I, I was going to mention I don't really subscribe. Yeah, I to know. Anything. I know. They they ask you because you have your good feedback from them but how many did you say about 20 or 30 40 how many are there rich because i know you send me you send me five or six a day and uh how many different ones are there and, and which the, the reason i'm saying is that the gentleman asked about how do i know what which of these grain reports are important is there a service that they can go to that says hey there's a big report not just rich anderson but say there's a green report today you know you want to be careful or something like that is there something like that i i think they uh, have well, it at, well, at the board of trade well, and almost stuff, all the brokerage firms have their own analysts. Uh, yeah. For example, R.J. O'Brien has their own analyst. Uh, Rich Feltis, I highly respect him. Yeah. Uh, AGM has their own analyst. Um, yeah. You know, uh, I highly respect. I re highly respect them. Uh, Stone X. Yeah. Um, you know, there's there's every for every firm. All the big firms um, like Morgan Stanley and City and Merrill Lynch. They used to have their own analysts, and and they've all gone away, but. You know, there's probably 15 or 20 different guys out there, and, and then you've got the private ones like Hightower and Egg Resources. Um, but the charts tell you what's going to happen. What I the, the way I trade fundamentals is I'm looking for analog years. I'm looking for years that are similar. You know, did we get the corn in? You know, like the uh, acreage uh, reports. Yeah, they're big, but the 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 weekly things, I'm watching, you know, when did we get the corn planted? Are we uh, looking better or worse than a year ago? I mean, if you take, but then it's not just the USDA's numbers here in the United States. You also got to be watching the Brazil, CONAB down in Brazil. You got to be watching their stuff. And, and then you've got to try and figure out what the actual numbers are in China, which, of course, they don't, uh, you know, they don't give you a look at their hand, shall we say. Yeah. And Russia, uh, it's a little better than China and, and Europe. So, so I, I'm looking for analog years. When do we get the stuff planted? What's the good to excellence? And, and that's how we get an estimate of what we think the yields are. And are, is the USDA overstating the yields or, or not overstating the yields? Like, 
I feel they're probably overstating the yields from last year's crop. We'll see if they make any adjustments today. They don't have to make them today. They can make them in a couple of in a couple of reports from now. They can make them in June, and that's that's what makes it so hard. So uh, right now we've got weather in South America. That's a, that's a big game changer if the pattern shift were to occur. You know, we know we're going to get rains. How much do we get, and are there rains that follow that that we can yeah. make that a, a total pattern shift in the yeah. weather model down there? Well, but I'm Rich. looking for the analog years. Uh, the the WASDE report today is big. Crop production report today is big. The stocks, you know, the, the, that's uh, as stocks as a percent of usage is one of the the numbers. I like to look at years when the stocks to usage numbers are similar, and then you look at the crop, you know, weekly crop numbers, the good, the excellent, and the poor's. And if you look at South America, their crop conditions in the last three weeks have dropped like a rock. And that's why it's got people very concerned. And then I, we talked quickly about how the acreage numbers that are going to come out, they're going to make a difference this year in, in March, that's, and it's going to have to do with weather. It's going to have to do with the insurance prices, which is the average price for the corn and beans in February for the new crop, November beans and these corn. And the best game in town may be prevent plant. If you've got an – you can't just say, I want to prevent plant. You've got to have actually – it was too wet to get it in, et cetera. But in any case, that would save you a whole bunch of money on fertilizer. Rich, so I want, that's I want how to I thank, do it. An analog I, years. I want to thank you for something. I just recorded this session that we just did these last few minutes. And it's, folks, this is the, if you want a reason why I'm just a technician, this is it. Because there's so much out there that the only thing I'm worried about is that one thing. Just like Curly and City Slickers, just that one thing. And that one thing I look at is that bar chart. If prices are going up, there's more buyers. If prices are going down, there's more sellers. If the news is really bullish and prices don't go up, it can only go one way and that's down. If the news is really bearish, and prices don't go down the only way it can go is back up so that's all i'm looking at thank you sir i appreciate it very much but and and, and, the, and the best thing is when it's really bearish i mean if you look at the big crop report last year we came out yep. with a really bearish big crop report and the market went straight up after that so yep. when it comes out real bullish and it goes down or if it comes out real bearish and it goes up yep. that, that's, that's a key change you look for that that's right. That's what you want to watch. It changes the sentiment when people are not telling you about it. That's the key to watching it. Listen, my friend, we'll have you on again in a few weeks, but thanks for joining us, Rich. I know your time is really valuable, so may God bless and stay safe, okay? All righty. Let's have a healthy new year. Yes, sir. Yeah, Rich Anderson, folks. Anyway, let's uh, go here and take a look at a few of these charts that I posted. I showed you the price of meal, folks. This means that uh, price of eggs and some of this other stuff should start going higher, but it's not. That might be regional, but by golly, uh, we're, I, if I had to do anything, I would go into this report short. But believe me, I wouldn't do anything here because it's a major report, and, and their illiquidity comes into the market just as that report comes out. Just like if you remember in trading places when no clearance speaks gave the old orange report remember uh, there was no buying or there was no selling everybody was on one side of the market and that's when you get these monster moves and remember when these things explode look look what's just give you an example folks look at natural gas that we talked about this morning when it was breaking out and was trading at uh, 240 it's now at 270 folks we're at the 61 percent retracement of this move that we had from way back in december Wow, I mean, this is this is where you when these things take off, boy, they they run like rockets. Plus, you've got the algorithmic traders in there that are bouncing around, swinging big sticks. I mean, you got to be very very careful. Now, besides a few of these others, I want to look at. Let's take a look here at this uh, uh, oil. If you remember, we had Mr. Z on the line last week, and he was in this oil. And uh, this all we were watching was this fifty nine cent level here. I was actually around fifty eight cents. I said I would be a little nervous at fifty eight, but we did get up. To to the 78% level of the high that we made in November. It was also a 61% retracement from the high. So that's a perfect 135. Okay, but here you've got a major report coming out. I mean, sure, you can put a stop in here, but it might get filled at 
twenty or something. You know, these things can go really nuts if the if the things are really crazy. You know, so that's why I'm saying you got to wait till the report is over. It's going to give you plenty of chances to get in. For God's sakes, look at that major bottom that we made down there in soybean oil. If you missed it, you wait four days, you get a perfect sixty one percent retracement, and bada bing, bada boom, you still take a lot out of it. So that's what I'm paying attention to right now. We'll report on this report tomorrow for sure uh, on t tomorrow's show, uh, which will feature. None other than the master himself. He calls it to the minute Winsky will be on tomorrow with his show, and uh, we'll all like to hear that. We haven't had Norman on for quite a while, so he's going to be, uh, I'm sure he'll be in rare form just like he al he's always in rare form. Maybe he'll be a tiny bit rarer form like he always is, but he always has some good things to look at. So let's keep in mind. We'll be right back, folks. 877-927-6648. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, we're back, folks. And I would like to mention, I posted a chart in here of the, NAS, the Dow Jones on the way down, but I want you to notice that that line that's there at the 382 line, that was previously there. That happened to be today's high exactly in the Dow E-mini, and that was the 61% retracement from the high to the low. So whether that means much or not, I don't know. I just wanted to bring that to your attention. Now, the next one that's important, we talked about earlier in the show, and I just saw my alert go off that we just made – 
new contract high of the uh, March heating oil. We just took out those highs from October. Well, we took out the highs from October. So that is a that's a bullish sign here. We've had a heck of a run in this thing, and uh, we, we were we were not we were the only thing we were slightly involved. We had a tremendous move on the upside in the crude oil, but uh, we broke even on the downside correction. So that's uh, pretty much uh, you know the patterns that we're watching here for today. Like I mentioned, tomorrow we will have Norman who calls it to the minute whiskey will be our guest and i know he'll have some good things of what he's doing you know he has a uh, several different youtube channels that he's on that's uh you can always reach him through that area too but we're going to try to have him on every two weeks like we've had in the past to give him some other things the main thing today folks is if we close up about 300 points in the dow and up about uh, 40 or 50 in the s p and up about 200 in the nasdaq uh beware because this thing could really go that's why if you're in the trade with the Dow Jones uh, that we posted. Uh, put your stop at break even and go go do some marketing. Go to uh, go for a foot massage or go for lunch. Do something other than looking at the market because watching that market is not going to help you one bit. It's your mortal enemy, so pay close attention to that for sure. That's the main thing. Well, we're coming up here to we've got the end. We had too many callers calling in today, folks. We were not able to answer all the calls, but with a little bit of luck tomorrow, maybe Maybe we'll be able to have Mr. Winsky on, and he'll have some callers asking us some things. I know he'll have some great information. He always does. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. And please do something for your neighbors out there, folks, or people who are still hurt. They tell you everything's great, but it ain't that way everywhere. So we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow. May God bless. Billy Ray Valentine, Capricorn. Capricorn.